in the normal muffler. That's uh, all they do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we're at the Big McWhirter Ranch here. Rob had, whoopsie, too much for the old girl. Rob had uh, some wheat seed to clean. And uh, he went to use his truck and he had a big puddle of brake fluid underneath of it. So he borrowed the International here. And then he was gone on the weekend, so I uh, hauled it to clean it for him and picked it up again after. Now we're just unloading it. And from here, we are going to go over to uh, Grandpa Henry's and pick up and pick up uh, a truckload of oats to hammer into feed for the cows at home there. So. There's the odd one that gets through yet, he said, but it doesn't change nothing to the crop at least. No. He cleaned it fairly heavy because of the ergot in it. Typically you're 5 to 7 percent, maybe 10, but it come out to about 20 percent that come out of it to, to clean it good, but just using his little auger here, there's only 350 bushels of it, so. A shovel? Okay. Anyway. That's what we're up to, so look at them go. Fucking just speed. Speed and power. Oh, starting to cramp up. Keep going, Forrest. <laughs> anyway, we'll get this unloaded. We'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, made it to Grandpa's. A little bit of a dick around because the slide was frozen shut, but not too bad, but anyway. Getting her loaded anyways, so see if Rob can start a fire now. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Get. I put about uh, 600 bushels on or so. It'll be. Oh, no, you know, her guy even really needs that much. I won't load her right to the nuts because they're only put 50 bushels a batch. Do uh, three batches at a time. Lasts about a month. It's 150 bushels. So a half a truckload will be. Should be suffice. Yeah. I suppose. Bring it back in a few. Oops. <laughs> well, it is the next day, and uh, Rob just got here. We are going to put some new rubber on the old 4020. Dad and I wanted to put tires on it for like four years now. It kept getting put off because money. <laughs> but uh, they are done. We aren't going to be able to use it anymore if we don't. Uh, if we didn't put tires on it. so. We hummed and hawed, I wanted to put uh, radials on it. Have a little bit more uh, traction on the ground and then maybe be able to put a wee bit more fluid in them. Because they'll be just a little bit bigger than the bias flies. A little extra weight maybe, right Rob? All of the weight. All the weight. <laughs> so, uh, we just unbolted uh, two of the 
plate weights off in order to get the uh, gun on to pull the fluid out. And that's the plan for today, so we'll see. We might have to take one more off, but anyway, we'll get her hooked up and bring you back in a minute. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. That's just when, it's like when somebody touches your neck. You go, sure. <laughs> That'll be a facelift and a half for the old girl. So, 480 85R 34s. The brand is Seat. I don't know, never heard of it before, but. They uh, they said they were a good tire, and they were a uh, little bit less dollars. Rob was putting it on there, and she's pretty stiff. Yeah. They're uh, and they're no slouch. No, they're the the right size. They're not fucking undersized like those other pieces of shit we had tried. Yeah. And uh, he aired them right up to get it seated. You know, sometimes those cheaper tires will round out while well, she stayed fucking square and you had air in there boy <laughs> so funk on the rim with, with no pressure it's still staying seated if it's got rob's uh, seat of approval stamp of approval the seat of approval. <laughs> Too many seat, seat and beads with the seat tires. Seat in the seat. And sit in the seat. Sit in the yeah. seat. Yeah. <laughs> sit in the seat with the tractor with the seats. Well, oh. no. anyway. Should be fucking hunky dory. Good for pulling the hay rake. <laughs> Anyways. Maybe go to a tractor pull and put a 16 <laughs> or 1850 cock shut back in its place this summer. We'll see what goes on. But. Uh, the old 560's going to give a run for the money. Ha <laughs> ha! If it starts. <laughs> Anyways, now that the delusions are over, he's been huffing too much fucking rust, dust, and calcium. <laughs> Get her filled up here and bring it back when we crack the other side off. Well, that was some scary noises. Spoke off. <laughs> Mint. Mint. Nice, like that. Real good. So Rob and I had some good entertainment with Amanda there at lunchtime there. <laughs> had a scam artist phone me and he was not very good at his job because he gave me his fucking personal cell phone number to send him pictures of my credit card for the information. So we phoned, phoned back my jeesh <laughs> and talked to him about his many, many wives and goats. He, to fuck your no, you're fuck my no, I'm going to fuck your mother, he kept saying. He was getting pretty fucking fired up. And then after about an hour and a half of us continuously <laughs> phoning him with three different phones, he started to sound like a broken spirit. So seeing as how I'm the bigger man, I posted his phone number on YouTube here. So if you guys go to the community and see that number and also give old con artist Jumar a phone call and call him a fucking piece of shit if you're interested. So... Constable McWhorter already phoned him. He's like, oh, oh, oh dear. He, he was pretty fucking worried. So. Why are you calling me? Like, I do not know why you're calling me. So, anyway, that was our entertainment. Our new entertainment now is the uh, valve stem that broke off inside of there. It's going to be make things kind of fun for his fluid gun, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah, fun. Anyway. I just got the new flashy light put on there. Isn't that nice? <whistles> now, a couple lights up here that are burnt. One inside one on this side and the outside one over there. Or maybe the other way around. Okay, now I got none on this side apparently. So, Well, we'll figure that out here in a moment. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm going to work on now. Obviously, is the... Uh... Oh, there we go. That's right. The inside lights are on a separate switch. Uh, Grandpa has the inside lights wired up with these back lights. So, anyway, good. Solve that problem. 
Oh, blinking. Look at that. Red lights even. Nice! Anyway, we're getting there, slow but surely. We got a new radiator coming for it because this one's got a uh, it's pretty well rotten. It had a pinhole in it. We had put some bars leak in it and it sealed it up and now it's leaking from the bottom tank there. So it's like 1200 bucks for a new rad. So that will be all right when that shows up. So anyway, keep on keeping on. We'll bring you back here in a few. Well, ah! Rob and I just brought a load of scrap iron. We got a couple loads of shit to haul here. <laughs> but I just thought I'd show you guys. <laughs> Fucking minty old 1086er, 986er, right where she belongs in the fucking junk heap. Fuck, that's nice. I don't see no John Deere's here though, just a fucking whole bunch of those parked in the junk. And they get unloaded by a John Deere track hole. Fucking king. Anyway, we're gonna get all our old M11s unloaded here and we'll bring you back when we make the next load. I should have videoed that. We had a little bit of gratuitous violence with the poor old car, but <laughs> shit. Anyway, talk to you in a few. second load of shit here coming from that coming from a big old pile of fucking junk finally get cleaned up old K square baler the old 230 anyway a couple old pull type swathers and such there's an old uh, straight six engine block transmission just a bunch of fucking junk so your turn square baler Well, I wanted to make an ending of the video here. Kind of got sidetracked with the scrap iron, but pay for the new tires that way. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, anyway, uh, I just got done uh, unloading a batch of chop with Amanda. She would made while Rob and I were gone hauling, but uh, couldn't remember if I had videoed this since it was done, but I... Uh, Got all the lights working again, put a couple new ones in, new hazard light, and fixed a couple broke wires back here. So now uh, Grandpa Gee's lights are working again that he made for it on here. And uh, I bolted all of the weights back on on this side. Originally, they only had three on here, and then Dad and I added one, because I had bought two. And then I ended up getting two more, so I added one more again. And now if you look at the tire straight on, we're two weights wider. And then if you look at the way the tires bulged, we're about one weight wider than the bulge on the bottom of the tire. So we'll leave it like that. I can't remember if these are one and a quarter or 150. Tell me in the comments. I honestly can't remember. So we've got five on the outside and two on the inside on here. Plus, uh, full of fluid, there's a barrel and three quarters in each one. About 80 gallons or so. And uh, I gotta finish bolting this side together yet. I also added a uh, phone charger on here, the old cigarette, cigarette lighter. Just screwed it to the side of the radio bracket. Because it was kinda shitty there last year. 
guy, I mean that little radio out at Grandpa's Hayfield, all it'll pick up is the old powwow station, so that are fucking communist broadcasting, the CBC, so I was using my phone and then it would go dead on a guy, so that'll fix that problem, but anyway, I'm excited to see how these tires work out. Uh, these ones here have been on since Dad was trying to remember, like 89, 90, so got our money's worth out of them. This one here is, is fucked. Like, the sidewall opens right up like a fucking zipper, and the other one's not far behind it, so there's still like 40% lug. They're just rotten, but the old co-op tires, they done good, so we'll see if these ones are the same. This tractor doesn't do much for uh, hard pulling. Runs the rake and an auger and loader work and such. Not as much as it used to, obviously, but anyway. All right, guys, that's enough for today. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. This will be right soon here. Dad's got his stand made. We're going to split, take the transmission, dash, engine, everything, all as one piece. Because we need to get into the uh, input shaft here and change that seal. So take the whole thing as a unit that way and be a lot easier to deal with. So hopefully it works out. Anyway, Ed, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment and subscribe for more. I'll talk to all you guys in the next one. Oh, and one more thing. Go check it out. We got a store made. So... South Sask Farmer merch. Buy it up before it's gone. There's going to be new and exciting things all the time on there, so be a minty cocksucker and go buy something for a guy. <laughs> anyway, talk to you in the next one.